Mom? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have b -b 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 buttons. <laughs> Do you like them? I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your other father that supper's ready. The initial seeds of Coraline were, I had a daughter who was like a little Wednesday Adams at the time and loved scary stories and would, would dictate them to me. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll write a story like this for her. It's uh, Alice in Wonderland meets a very dark Grimm's fairy tale uh, in a modern setting that was appealing. I thought it was um, unusual and a really fresh idea for, a, for an animation film. The, the process of stop motion is one that involves very, very mad and dedicated people sacrificing huge chunks of their life. I'm always looking for an excuse to do stop motion because that's what I, I, I love best. Of all the types of animation, I think it's what I, I do best. Stop motion has this sort of dual quality. It takes very scary things and makes them just slightly sweeter because there's a sense that it's, it's sort of toys brought to life. Um, but on the other hand, it takes things that are overly sweet and makes them a little bit creepier. So I think it, 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 it takes those extremes that could be not right for, the, for a film, for a family film, and brings them into this other universe. I'm YB, YB Lovett. YB? Short for Yborn. Not my idea, of course. What'd you get saddled with? I wasn't saddled with anything. It's Coraline. Uh, Caroline what? Coraline. Coraline Jones. Hmm. I think 3D is a wonderful technology if it has a reason for existing and if it has a purpose. What I love um, particularly about Coraline's 3D is that Henry uses it to tell the story. He uses 3D in the same kind of way that in the 1930s they used black and white and color to differentiate where you were in The Wizard of Oz. It draws you into her world more and so I think you actually without really realizing it you're slowly drawn into the world of Coraline. 3D shows off this, this tactile visceral quality of actual objects brought to life but that wouldn't be enough it's also that the story of Coraline is someone discovering a different world and Wizard of Oz going from one lesser place to a better place and we use 3D to help enhance that. Coraline, written for the screen and directed by Henry Selleck.